Hello, welcome to your relaxation tape. Please find a quiet place where you can relax for the next half an hour and you won't be disturbed. Please don't operate any heavy machinery while listening to this audio. As you lie yourself back, you can settle down and begin to relax and just make yourself nice and comfortable. You can notice the weight of your head resting there and you can be aware of your head relaxing on the pillow, knowing that the pillow will fully support you, the full weight of your head, so you don't have to hold any stress or any tension in your shoulders or your neck. You can just let your head rest back, nice and relaxed, and let go. And you can relax those shoulders too because you know that the couch will fully support you. It can take your full weight, your full height, every muscle, every fiber of your being as you just relax back into the couch, fully supported. Because now is the time for you to do nothing. You don't have to be anywhere. You don't have to do anything. You can just lie back and relax. And your mind can drift and dream as you hear all the sounds around you. The sounds outside. None of these things need distract nor disturb you as they comfortably remind you that the world is safely still turning and you can allow yourself a moment to just rest back, relax and let go. You can let go of any tension in your stomach or across your shoulders. Ease off those muscles in your back and down your spine and along the muscles in your legs down through your ankles and all the way to your feet, your toes, even your arms and every finger loosening and relaxing, perfectly at ease, drifting and dreaming with your thoughts as you pay attention to your breathing, that gentle rise and fall that happens all by itself. And with every breath that you take and with every word that I speak, you can just let go. Now you are comfortable and relaxed, I will begin. You are about to enjoy a very pleasant and very beneficial experience. So that these things that you used to dream about can now become a reality. Sitting here now, eyes closed, relaxed, you begin to become aware of all the sounds around you. The sound of my voice sounds in the room, sounds outside, other voices, other rooms, and you know that you don't need to listen, you don't need to listen to a word I say, or a word I don't say, as your conscious mind just drifts away to those pleasant scenes in your imagination, and your subconscious mind will understand and pay great attention to each thing I say or don't say. As relaxation continues, nothing bothers you and nothing disturbs you. And it's thoughtful how you do feel relaxed, so completely relaxed, easily and effortlessly, comfortably relaxed. Even chairs can be comfortable. And as you drift even deeper now, with each word that I utter, with each breath that you take, I begin to wonder if you have ever had the pleasure of giving in to the sleep or trying to stay awake, where you drift and you dream for a while, and then you drift and you dream even more, even deeper. And that is indeed special. It's a special feeling. And you do know that feeling, don't you? The sensation of drifting away or those noises in the background of your awareness continue and your mind first drifts away when a word or a phrase reminds your mind of all those things that you need to know and you need for you. That beautiful characteristic of allowing you to be good to you, to feel free and comfortable to disregard old fears and inhibitions, to eliminate old unwanted feelings, 
to resolve old issues, to recognize the good times in your life, to explore and expand your capabilities for joy in your life, to explore new ways of experiencing joy, joy in your everyday life, and to allow you to experience these joys of nature more fully, to amplify those nice warm feelings that come from their special memories, those special times that are past, to search to find the things that seem to be one way turned out to be another, and then you drift and you dream for a while, and those words become soothing sounds in the background of your mind. And although you do listen to each thing I say, your subconscious mind is aware of each word that is of importance to you. A special sleep of learning and transformation. Not the sleep that you sleep at night, but the intelligence of trance. And you know from experience that you are the best one. The best one to take care of you. And you want to make changes, don't you? And you will make those changes, won't you? And you like yourself, don't you? And you really do like yourself, don't you? And the world will make changes, and history will stay the same. And geography becomes interesting when you don't have a map. And as those dreams continue, activating each part of you, so that each part can play its part, in your reparation, in the exquisite ways that thrill each part of your subconscious mind, and your subconscious mind will redefine those levels of anxiety as energy and interest, bringing joy and peace and tranquility to each and every part of your mind and your body. As you drift deeper into trance, your unconscious mind begins to change your perceptions perceptions you have of yourself in a special meaningful way that your conscious mind can understand and enjoy immensely and it's comforting to experience that quality of trance that effortless letting go as relaxation pervades your mind and your body you can now enjoy that heaviness of arms and legs as relaxation continues and now as you experience the power of trance of building and creating the foundations of success foundations that can grow spectacularly until your future is real bringing peace and tranquility to each and every part of your mind and your body new parts new actions developed unconsciously but required consciously and it's thoughtful to wonder as you wander down the concourse of your mind, reflecting on past decisions and patterns, behaviours, you are aware of how things could have been different in so many ways. Even small changes make a big difference. You see, changes begin small before they become big and meaningful. And provided that you nurture a small tree, it will grow to be a big tree, but you must be careful that you don't nurture the weeds, or the weeds will take over, and for a time they will appear to be bigger than the tree, but you do know that this is not possible, don't you? And you will weed out those weeds, won't you? And have you noticed how strong and healthy the small tree can look, when it's not surrounded by weeds? And I wonder if you know that you do control the weeds and how good that feels to be in control, to nurture the garden of your mind, to reap those rewards while the sun rises in your future. Is that not so? And I want you to know that in each person's life there are things that we like and we don't want to know about and it's thoughtful. The way that you can change the way you feel as you change your thoughts. You see, we all live our lives in reflection, in reflective actions to employ many guided emotions and much misguided conditioning from childhood. The things we saw in other people, 
the things we said, the things we didn't like, we now find ourselves doing in every family there's guilt throwers and guilt catchers, destroyers and builders. Not the same builders that build houses, but special builders that build dreams and futures, real and imagined, setting out goals to aim for, parameters of acceptable behaviour, protected barriers and borders that should not be crossed, creating criteria, setting foundations, foundations of happiness and expectation, whilst controlling their own lives in ways that are fulfilling and delightful. And I don't know if you discard the voices of doubt immediately or in a moment. And it's thoughtful how evolution changes man and animals, both physically and mentally, to fit in and stand out. And you do know that. You don't have to please everyone. And you should listen internally and intently to that little voice that waits for you to love yourself. And you can love yourself, can't you? And you do love yourself, don't you? It's whether you now make this change quickly or you make it slowly. As you now change your thoughts and your expectations. And have you noticed how good that feels? And I know that you know that it's pointless to split resources as it's much better to join together and mingle easily, to be as one with one voice, one successful objective, an amalgamation of mind and body. And now as you relax even more, perhaps even more than you ever have relaxed before, you begin to realise how quickly you'll grasp this technique and how surprised you will not be when the way you think and the way you feel, the way that you behave changes completely, immediately in a way that is satisfactory for each part of you. And I don't know if these changes will happen now, or in an hour from now, but I do know that you would not be listening to me now if you didn't feel that my way is the better way. The better way of dealing with these issues in your life. Nor would you listen to me if you didn't think that I could show you how to resolve these issues in a special way that protects you from things that it is not. It's not always necessary to know, just like children protect someone they love, unquestioningly, sometimes without rhyme or reason, in the same way your subconscious mind protects you. Your subconscious mind will communicate with your conscious mind and make those changes in your thoughts, your feelings, your behaviours, that are necessary and beneficial for you now. And I wonder if you've made enough changes yet, if you realise that these changes will continue and that problem that you used to have will now be resolved. Over and finished with, devoid of emotion, put back into the past where it belongs, never to resurface again. Is that not so? And as your thoughts now drift, drift into the future, you can see and feel how wonderful you are and wonderfully you behave and exquisitely control your emotions and your thoughts in any given situation. Things that used to bother you before now make no difference. You pay them no attention. And have you noticed how good that feels as you achieve your objectives of peace of mind and body? And you know... One of the most important things in life is confidence. We all need a little confidence from time to time to help us deal with whatever life has in store for us. In fact, some of us may even need more confidence than others. And that's because we've forgotten just how confident we naturally can be. And you know that confidence was always really there in the first place. We just forgot to look in the right place. We were looking outside instead of inside. That's right, because confidence is the key to success in our lives. Confidence is our ability to do those things we want to do, those things we need to do, to enable us to achieve any goal or any target we set. 
and you know where that confidence comes from that's right it comes from within there's nothing magical about it although there are times when that's exactly how it seems to work and we can access it almost immediately the magical feeling of confidence whenever we want simply by using the power of our mind in a positive and meaningful way and it's what we tell ourselves that really affects us on our daily lives what we tell ourselves really does determine how we feel so if we tell ourselves that we feel anxious worried fed up then that's exactly how we're going to feel whereas if we tell ourselves that we're going to feel calm relaxed and in control in control of our lives and our futures then guess what that's how we're going to feel and it's true isn't it what we think and say to ourselves affects the way we feel physically those unwanted negative thoughts and feelings generate unwanted emotional and physical responses in our bodies so what we tell ourselves really does have a tremendous impact on our lives and it determines not only how we feel but ultimately what we can and can't do so why not begin using your power of your mind to tell yourself you can start again from this very moment living your life each day in a full and meaningful way enjoying each and every moment appreciating the wonder of being alive and well here and now realizing that there's no need to worry either about anything that has happened in the past or maybe more importantly what might happen in the future because we both know it might never happen the past and the future are only products of our thoughts interpreted by what we tell ourselves moment by moment and as our lives consist of all these moments then life can pass us by very easily so if we spend time using our thoughts to worry about past or future then we become trapped in a cycle of negative thinking and it's so much easier to become involved in the moment completely involved in the moment completely involved in everything that's happening around you and when you do feel it you'll find it much easier to remain calm comfortable and so relaxed at peace with yourself and everything around you why not tell yourself that each and every day it is an opportunity to feel relaxed and confident and so much more in control of your thoughts and feelings and this will happen easily and naturally because you choose to feel these things by using the power of your mind and you will begin to notice and enjoy the positive changes in your life as you enjoy every day feeling more alive more motivated more confident and noticing just how good you feel in your body more energized more healthy aware of how easily you now function both body and mind as you now tell yourself each and every day how relaxed and comfortable you are and how relaxed and comfortable you feel growing in confidence more and more your mind feeling clearer than ever becoming more focused seeing any problems for what they are putting them in perspective and dealing with them so easily so effectively and so confidently that it comes as a pleasant surprise and you begin to wonder why they ever caused any problems in the first place and then you realize that it really doesn't matter because those things that used to bother you before in the past just don't seem to bother you anymore because you know you can just leave them behind in the past where they will never bother you or trouble you again because you've learned the key to success in life and that's confidence confidence in your ability to deal with whatever life has in store day by day sure in the knowledge that your confidence is building slowly but surely with every breath you breathe and every word i speak 
until you rapidly become the confident, self-assured individual that you always wanted to be, that you are now and will continue to be, today, tomorrow and every day for the rest of your life. Now I want to tell you a story. Once upon a time there were two trees growing by the river bank, a tall tree and a small tree. And that small young tree, it knew how to wave and dance in the breeze. It knew how to be very flexible. And when the wind blew, it enjoyed changing its perspective. It enjoyed dancing and moving, moving and dancing. It would see so many things when it changed its perspective. And that big tree was so inflexible. It used to envy the small tree, but it was a little bit scared of changing its perspective. It was a little bit nervous about doing it. So one day it asked the small tree, How do you do that? How do you change the way you see things? Change the way you enjoy things? And the little tree said, Well, you just need to let go. You just let it happen. And so the next time when that wind blew, the big tree really wanted to let go. And the little tree said, You can do it. You can make those changes. No need to be afraid. Your roots go down deep into the ground and you can have inner stability even though you're moving. Moving with the winds of change and enjoying the dance. That in the dance of life you can allow that to happen all by itself. And that big tree was so happy feeling its way into the new way of seeing things. And because it had a new way of seeing things it also had a new way of recalling things, bringing back images when it wanted to recall the dance. And that big tree also learned as it got more flexible in its behaviour and its perceptions that what it thought was the horizon was really only limitation. It was limitation it was placing on itself. And as it danced and swayed, swayed and danced, it could see further and further, fields beyond towns, it could even see the sea in the distance, and it was happy to have a new way of seeing things, so happy. Happy to know that it could recall in a new and pleasant way, pleasant memories. While you are resting in this very pleasant way, I want you to imagine something. I want you to imagine that you are looking at a steel ball, resting at the top of a gentle slope. Just imagine that now. You're looking at a steel ball, resting at the top of a gentle slope. And as you look at it, so the ball begins to roll slowly down that slope. It moves slowly and follows a very straight course as it moves. But now I want you to imagine that a little way ahead of the steel ball, and off to one side of the track, you can see a strong magnet. And as the ball is rolling towards the magnet, so it enters its magnetic field and the magnet pulls on the steel ball not enough to make it stick to it but enough to make it change its course the steel ball is now rolling in a completely different direction from its original path now there's a reason for imagining this because your pathway through life is like a path taken by the steel ball in the beginning your path through life was set you were following a course that was right for you and it felt right but you soon found that you were being influenced by other people acting like magnets trying to pull you off course trying to make you change your direction in short they made you feel that your way was wrong they wanted you to conform to their ways and follow their course of action by trying to please them you changed your course and have been following a way that is not what was originally set out for yourself. The result has been that you have felt uncomfortable. It has not felt right. And you have consequently felt that you have lost your individuality through trying to please other people. And this has been a problem. So let's see what can be done about it. Let's return to our picture of the steel ball and make a few changes. Once again, imagine that steel ball at the top of the slope, but this time, as you look at it, 
see it grow to double its size and weighing twice as much. Now see it rolling and see what happens. It approaches the magnet and the magnet tries to pull on it but this time the ball is too heavy and too big and does not deviate from its course. It keeps on rolling in the same direction. The influence of the magnet is not strong enough to affect the ball. It just rolls straight past. These simple changes were enough to overcome the problem. For you to overcome the problem it is not necessary to grow in size or put on weight but you can grow in strength and in power and you could do this easily as easy as you rest there right now I want you to realize something and realize it well understand it and acknowledge it it is not your purpose in life to become a carbon copy of somebody else you are an individual in your own right you have your own opinions you have your own personality these things are right for you no other person has the right to try to take these things away from you to make you conform to their ways you are a person in your own right a complete person and they must either accept this or go on their own way your individuality is precious it must be protected and you can protect this with your own strength your strength has been weakened by the influences of other people but that strength is still there it is within you right now so now is the time to rediscover it and let it grow so you rest there now just imagine yourself as being strong strong enough to withstand influences of other people strong enough to stand on your own feet imagine you are that strong now and as you imagine it feel the strength it's there you can feel it feel the confidence that goes along with it feel yourself able to speak out able to defend your own individuality feel these things now because as you can now feel them you know they are there you already have that strength it's there you can feel it so you know it's there acknowledge it welcome it it's yours now that you have experienced these things you can recognize them and use them now that you know they are there, you can become more aware of them. Because of this, you will already feel stronger and more able to be yourself. And this feeling is going to remain with you and become stronger as each day goes by. No longer are you influenced into the wrong course by other people. No longer do you allow your individuality to be taken away from you. It is precious. It is yours. Starting now, more and more, you will realise that happiness and unhappiness are due to your own thoughts, the way you think about situations. You will be able to shift your thoughts the way you think about situations. You will be able to shift your thoughts to the positive aspects and look at the positive aspects of living, enjoying every day. You will become more and more aware that if life situations are not the way you always want them to be, you will work to change them, without frustration, without anger, without being bothered. You will work to change things that are not the way you want them, but you will do it in a calm and peaceful mind, being at ease and at peace with the universe. You will become more and more aware that everyone has problems in living. But you will also be aware that as you become more mature, that you can face problems with a calm mind, with strength and determination to work to improve them. When you cannot change things, you will accept them calmly. You will be aware that anger and frustration do not help. You will realise that life is too precious and too wonderful to waste it being bothered over little things, little annoyances. Starting today, 
You will work to change anything that is unchanged. You will realise that life is too precious and too wonderful to waste it being bothered over little things. Little annoyances. Starting today, you will work to change anything that is changeable that you can change with peace of mind, without being bothered, without frustration, without anger. You will be less and less worried about the future problems, the dangers of the future, which will never occur anyway. Most of the things you worry about won't happen. You'll let the worries go. You'll enjoy the day. You'll let yourself go. You'll enjoy yourself as worries drop out of your life. Hope you've enjoyed this relaxation tape. Please listen to it every night before bed for best results.